Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Tessa Wiseman with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Over the weekend, the Trump administration announced a proposed rule entitled Inadmissibility on Public Charge Grounds, under which immigrants who legally use public benefits could be denied green cards. Jason Boyd, ALA's policy counsel, is here to tell us more. Thanks for joining us, Jason. What does the proposed rule say? Thanks, Tessa. The proposed rule would dramatically change the standard by which USCIS determines whether an applicant for adjustment of status or admission is likely to become a public charge and is therefore inadmissible. Under current policy, USCIS regards as a public charge someone primarily dependent on government assistance. Generally, a sufficient affidavit of support is enough to establish that an adjustment applicant will not become a public charge. Under the proposed rule, USCIS would consider as a public charge anyone receiving one or more specified public benefits. A sufficient affidavit of support would not be outcome determinative. Rather, USCIS would apply a totality of circumstances test featuring a range of heavily weighted negative factors, one of which is an applicant's receipt of a specified public benefit within the 36 month period prior to the filing of the adjustment application. The rule states, however, that with limited exceptions, the use of a non-cash benefit at any time before the final rule goes into effect would not count against the applicant. Under the proposed rule, DHS would also conduct a form of public charge determination for non-immigrants seeking a change or extension of status. What are the effects of the proposed rule? If implemented, this rule will have profoundly harmful consequences throughout the nation. It would prevent all too many immigrants who work hard and follow the rules from becoming lawful permanent residents and remaining in the United States with their families. By doing so, the rule would represent the latest attack on family unity and lift to new heights the invisible wall shutting out legal immigrants from our country. The rule would also deter families from obtaining vital medical assistance and meeting other basic needs. In fact, in the proposed rule itself, DHS acknowledges that its proposal could result in worse health outcomes for pregnant women, more child malnutrition, heightened poverty, increased housing instability, and a decline in productivity. In short, this is a mean-spirited proposal that could endanger the well-being of millions of families. When will the DHS public charge rule go into effect? DHS has posted the text of the proposed rule on its website, but not in the Federal Register. The department indicated that it will publish in the Federal Register in the coming weeks. That future text will likely mirror what DHS has already posted, though it's possible some content could change. Upon publication in the Federal Register, there will be a 60-day notice and comment period during which the public can provide feedback to the government regarding the rule. After that period, DHS will review the comments submitted. It will then publish a final rule that should address concerns raised by the public. That final rule will identify a future date in which the rule will go into effect. So at minimum, it will be a number of months before DHS begins implementing a new public charge policy. What can ALA members do to respond to the rule? The proposed rule is just that, a proposal. We can and must push back. So we strongly encourage ALA members to submit comments opposing the proposed rule once it is published in the Federal Register and the notice and comment period begins. Along with the American Immigration Council, ALA National will develop and disseminate comment templates that members can easily customize and submit. Each member's contributions are invaluable. Together, we'll make clear that the administration's effort to raise the invisible wall and keep families apart will not stand. Thank you, Jason, for joining us. And others, please stay tuned for more updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.